All right, guys, what's everybody doing today? So I was gonna show you a little, little running around down here with a, uh, with a uh, customer. Obviously, that's not one of, one of our tracos or one of our buggies, but they do have one of our big dump trucks made right here. And they are building what looks like a big old pond right here. So Slade, will you? Hope everybody's doing good. Follow the Fanchers. Just wanted to come out here. And like I said, I'm, I'm doing a bunch of running around today. I got a lot of customers to go see. I'm out here. Uh, Mr. Thompson here, I give him a shout out. He said, hey, I know you. Once I jumped up on the, on the machine, I was going to try to see if the, the guy that's running the job that was here. He said, I watch all your YouTube videos. So that's... Uh, that's pretty cool, but they're down here in a, just a huge swamp, if you look here, and they are building a big, big, big pond. So, and I'm going to tell you what, the horse flies are bad. So I'm going to get done here, pressing and them, uh, got this truck, I just delivered this truck to this customer. They're going to try to, just trying to move a bunch of dirt here, and then I'm going to be headed over to Ethel and deliver a 160, so y'all come on and go with me. So let me show y'all this. So they got this big B30 down here. They're gonna turn that buggy in. They really don't need it anymore. They got up here on a on enough dry ground where they're gonna use this 30 ton truck. That, that buggy's probably a seven ton or 11 ton. This big 30 ton truck will be way better. They can move a whole lot more material this truck than they can that maruka buggy all right we got the got the 160 delivered right here and we're gonna hold some traffic that way he can get this big big trailer turned around tried to get over here a little bit quicker but i didn't make it Yeah, I tried to get over here. I wanted to beat him so I could I could get here before him, but I didn't uh we didn't quite make it. Alright, I'm gonna get back here and me and Michael are gonna make sure the machines like we want it and get it off the road and I'll be headed back, headed on to the next one. That's right. Yeah. We're gonna move it right up here in this open spot. So this is the 160. Brandon Hodges has one too. It's got a blade on it. So you very rarely see a 160 class machine like this. It's got a blade on it. So customers that uh that rent it really like it. Out of work. That way you don't have to worry about that limb up there. So, all right, they'll get their pond built. And we'll be ready to go. That's good. So I got this control radius HX-130 going out to a customer the Wednesday after the 4th. I got a SSI guy here gonna change the buckets. Michael's gonna take that bucket off, get the right bucket that's gonna match up to this thumb right here and get it put on there. Pretty good at that.
question. The world is full of big problems. So where do we even begin? Well, big problems need bigger ideas. And big isn't always complicated. You know what? What if I just tell you the story? This is Reverend Ellis Foster. In 1893, he found himself surrounded by one of his big problems. Children in Mississippi without parents. So he puts the word out. And well, he wasn't the only one to see it. Soon people from all over the state began to support his big, simple idea. A home for kids without one. By 1897, the Baptist Orphanage was born. So what started as the Baptist Orphanage is now the Baptist Children's Village. And we're still here. And that scene. Now he leads the charge. As time has passed, we've learned a lot about those big problems. And that means we have to learn a whole lot more about new and big ideas. Today, the Baptist Children's Village serves over 200 children. As times change, you know, ministry change. Some people may think of it as being like an orphanage, but it's so much more. For some family. All right, so I am walking out of the yard. There's the old Taylor's truck. And I'm fixing to hit the road and try to get my little walk in. So kind of a file of the fancher's plethora today uh, as y'all see obviously what you just saw so ainsley and all the kids lord y'all it was about 80 of them which is such a blessing to see uh that many kids in a in a small community like this they had their bible school commencement and uh anyway it was good to go that see all those kids worship see them sing uh listen to them kind of some of them give their little testimony about what uh about what the lord did for them this past week in uh bible school and you know we i talked about this in a in a video earlier this week just about uh how we should all come to christ as little children and those kids not only are they a blessing to all of us their hearts and their spirit is so open to the blessings that the Lord has before them. And look, I'm 50 years old, but the Lord had the, has the same blessings there for me. He speaks to me the same way. But sometimes because of our age, I feel like we, we miss those blessings because we don't have an open heart. So let's always just make sure we have a, we have an open heart to receive that the bless the blessings that the Lord the Lord has there for us. I, I can't remember too. They they took up a large amount of money. Uh, the kids did, and they were going to give what the kids raised. The church was going to raise and give back to the to the ba Baptist Children's Village. I showed a little a little video of that. So if you feel so led. I know with my YouTube channel and all the subscribers, I have people that watch and support from all over the country. Look up, Google the Baptist Children's Village, and if you uh, feel led to give and help out some, some kids that are in situations less fortunate than maybe ourselves, and they didn't choose those situations, they were, they were put in those situations for just, you know, a rough circumstance, give to the baptist children's village i mean that's a that is a great place give your tithes to the church like you're supposed to 10 percent. your offering give to the the baptist children's village if you if you feel so led but it's been a great day today i had a lot had a lot going on i, I saw a customer early this morning i probably wonder why i got this long sleeve shirt on i'm trying to sweat a little more but anyway saw a customer this morning that's wanting to buy a machine, so I hope that all hope that all works out. Got to, you know, it's always financing options and stuff like that. You kind of have to have to uh, work through. Had a great day. Delivered a machine to a customer. Was really able to help this customer out. You know, it, it's great to work for somebody like Taylor Construction, where you, can, where you can work with customers and help customers maybe you know, in different ways. So it was good to deliver that machine there. Came back, uh, had two or three more customers I went to see. These articulating dump trucks, oh, y'all y'all, saw that. 
where uh where they're doing that job man these articulating dump trucks they have become really hard to get uh everybody's needing them it's starting to become i guess it probably always has been but it is huge they are huge in the whole construction end of the business so i got i got three or four more guys looking for those just lots of going on with with taylor construction equipment you know i have i've prayed and prayed for the last few months i've I've seen a lot of customers and I've knocked on a bunch of doors and I've and I've shook a bunch of hands and I've I honestly, you know, just been praying, hey Lord, just start opening some doors for me. But I always want him to be involved in 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 every deal and make sure I do the right things, make the right decisions. Because it like I said, this is this is all new to me. But uh man, he's really starting to starting to open doors and you know, always growing pains with a new company but man we are we are growing i'm growing my book of business and you know selling's all about relationships that's what uh that's what makes it go so if you can be good at relationships take care of the customer do what you say say what you do then it'll uh it'll normally go go pretty good Whew. so i'm gonna be out here i'm gonna pound this payment and I'm gonna get this this uh, this three mile walk in. I don't know if I've talked about that. So I've been doing three miles every day. Uh, let's see, yesterday I got up and did it yesterday morning because I knew I was gonna be working late yesterday afternoon. Had lots going on. Needed to be at, at church on Wednesday night. So anyway, got up yesterday morning. I'm gonna be honest. I like it better. I like it better getting up in the mornings and, and doing it uh a the afternoon walks takes away from my family julie and ainsley even though aiden's away i gotta leave the house 45 minutes or so to go exercise and i've been gone all day work requires a good bit with me on the phone and stuff like that so in the mornings if i get up and do it while they're still asleep leave the house at five o'clock or so then i'm done so that's one reason i like doing it in the mornings Part two of that is, makes me feel better the whole rest of the day. Part three should be a number one. It ain't near this dang hot at five o'clock in the morning. Even though it's seven o'clock, the sun's still high and it's still super duper hot. All right, so on the way back to the house, soaking dang wet. Uh, 31 plus 31, 62 tomorrow 63 63 days from tomorrow elk season opens up okay so that means 61 days from tomorrow we're gonna be getting in a truck headed west to the rocky mountains take a left and go elk hunting and i am every time it gets this time of year i can't say this enough it gets worse and worse and worse. I think the older I get, the worse I get. And look, I promise you, it ain't and that's all 100% going out there to kill a elk. It's about getting in that Ford truck with my dad, headed to the Rocky Mountains, smelling the grass, hearing the aspen leaves, feeling the cool air, seeing the beauty and the grandeur of the mountains that the Lord give us. And oh, we're just blessed enough that the Rocky Mountain Bull Elk lives there. So I'm ready to go. But I hope y'all are enjoying these videos. Lots of uh, lots of talking. We'll keep talking about Jesus. We'll keep working hard. Y'all get up, put them shoes on, go walking. If it isn't nothing but around your yard to the mailbox or back, whatever it is, get moving. Appreciate y'all. Follow them in the Fanchers. God bless. Jesus saves. See y'all.